I'm gonna put some money in the bank. What do you think about that? You got money in the bank? No, I'm about to. See so what? Well, you you have money in the bank already. I mean, I doubt you took it all out. See, look, you got 900 right. rupees in the bank. Now you. Well, that'd be a thousand. Well, no, not yet. You're still. Oh wait, yeah, I can't do math. Good job. Congratulations on your thousand. Wow. I got a thousand rupees. I heard you get a chivo for that. Oh. What? Well, that's you know, like a chivo. It's all about the points, baby. Whatever. You know, one time I was playing, um, I was playing Guild Wars, okay? And, uh, it was in a very small group of people who played Guild Wars. And we didn't really yeah. care about all the other shit. Well, we, we, you, you were, but then you didn't play, so I don't know what was up. Anyway, well, the, uh, this is like a story, Guild though. Wars. You gotta listen to this. You gotta listen. So, so we joined this flag of people that, like, we didn't know them. But they, like, they seemed kind of cool at the time. Well, one person did. The person invited us. Well, the people that they were in a guild with, I think there were like 12. Because like this this happened just a couple years ago. This isn't like 10 years ago, right? This is this is just a couple right. years ago. Um, the, these two people were constantly talking in the, the Alliance chat about... Um, they, they were quoting Weird Al songs. Constantly. Wow, that's compelling. And I'm talking like, not even like recent Weird Al, because I don't know what recent Weird Al is. I'm talking like all about the Pentiums. recent? And wow. shit like that. That's old school. This this happened like probably a year and a half ago. I just I don't know what to think sometimes. Think it was ironic? No, they weren't. They were they. I got mocked by a fucking twelve year old because I wasn't hip and cool with like ten year old weird Al jokes. I what did you say that kid, got you mocked? A kid called me a square. You literally got called a square? I literally got called a square. These people Don't were not even that. ironic. These were like, like, I, I'm pretty sure that somebody ripped 12 year olds, like, out of the 1990s and just threw them into, into 2010. Or 8 or whatever it was, 2008. So it was a weird kid time warp. Yeah, pretty much. Look at this milk, it's sparkly. That's some nice milk. I don't milk. trust sparkling milk. I do. That means it's vampire milk. And that means that you gotta drive a steak. You gotta stir it with a wooden steak before you uh, you drink it. If I don't drink it, it'll uh, drink me. <laughs> but that's weird. No, I got called a square because like I was making like a couple of my friends. We were like making fun of them for like not directly, but you know we were being you were very satirical. obviously being pretty smart. We were smart being smart satirical. Here. And they they just took us very seriously, and they were like, "Wow, you guys don't like Weird Al? What a bunch of losers! Everybody at our school likes Weird Al." It was just so weird. It was surreal. So you were uncool for not liking ten-year-old Weird Al jokes? Yes, yes. I, I these twelve-year-old kids in these middle schoolers found me uncool. Well, in their defense, you are kind of a loser. I'm kidding. Well, I'm out of here. See you guys. Oh, fine. I'll do this on solo. Mr. Awesome Pants Know It All can do it all by himself. Yeah, I guess I can. I'm gonna go. Can't wait for you to I'm fuck up the sign maze. Yeah. Well, watch me. I will. I'll watch you fuck watch it up because you always fuck yeah. it up. Yeah. You fuck up. That's a little harsh. I just <laughs> just noticed I'm petting my dog's nipple. Ew. Wow, you're kind of a weird person. Oh, I'm petting my dog. She just has, like, massive honking nipples. <laughs> Is that going to be the name of this video? Sure. Hmm. Not sure, not sure if that's a good idea. I mean, okay, like... Hang oh, 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 God. I'm just trying to rub her belly, but her massive honking nipples get in the way. All right, let's, uh... uh you got to drink your milk. Underwater. <laughs> he just pops the pops the uh, bottle open and just kind of floats out there right in front of him. Yeah. I like that idea. Wow, do you have unlimited magic for a while? Yeah. I didn't know that. Yep. How long does that last? A minute? Uh, Five I'm not, minutes? I'm not totally sure. An hour?
hour? That's a good question. Hmm. Well, I guess we can find out, can't we? We'll time it. Let me get my stopwatch. 12 seconds. It's still going, though. 25 seconds. Wow. You gonna put Borderlands? Uh, yeah, I'd like that, actually. Alright, cool. Are we gonna get Shazerus when we play? Excuse me, what's we with the name drop? What's with the name drop? Name drop him Shazerus, because he's right? a... I, is just this reminded, this scene reminded me of, uh, of, of Borderlands. What is that? Um... Well, like the the, um, it's it, well like the it was like a desert ocean, an a ocean. Desert ocean. Yeah. It's, it's like a deserted ocean. Like there's nothing living in the ocean. But even like literally a desert. No, I mean like I mean like deserts. Like we're gonna get so, we're gonna get our just this, desserts. Yeah, that eel just definitely got us just desserts. Yeah. Cool. We got an egg. I really hate that Eat phrase. It. I got an egg. Let's eat an egg for money. <laughs> I need an egg for money. Hey, well, so... Well, actually, it depends. So, are you going to find a home for that seahorse? Yeah, actually. Oh. I'm going to do that as soon as we clear out this area. I look forward to you finding a home for that seahorse. Me too. Oh, I'm yawning. Whoa. It's a pretty boring video. I hope oh. I made you yawn. <laughs> God damn it. Ugh. Hate you. Wow, don't don't rock the boat. Don't rock the boat, baby. Sorry. You're rocking the microphone boat. Tipping oh it God. over. Get on the mic. Wow, it it's still you still have unlimited magic. I never see I'm too pro to actually drink this uh this Romani yeah. milk. Yeah. So I never oh. knew if it's a uh, infinite magic feature. It's really useful. Does it also, also give you like does it also? I, it was like 200 rupees. I saw. Yeah, those 200 rupees. Does it also um do that stuff that Grandma Soup does in uh, Nope. Wind Waker. It's just infinite magic. Oh, does it all? Does it also heal you though when you drink it? Yeah. Okay, cool. Is I'm it a, sure full it's a full heal? Okay. I'm not sure. It's a lot of. It's a lot of health. Sure. Let's go with just a lot of health. A lot of colada. A lot, a lot, a lot. My um my sister used to order a lot of colada, at uh. At uh, what is that place? The place of the fish, the Red Lobster, that one. I almost never go to Red Lobster. Red Lobster sucks. Don't actually eat there. Yeah, they have good biscuits though. Yeah. I guess if you're the person that likes biscuits in the first place, yeah. I like biscuits. I'm from I mean, the it's, south. It's buttery. I kind of have to. Yeah, but it's buttery cheese bread. Like it's not. That's not good shit to eat. Yeah, I like biscuits though. Yeah. Biscuits are really good if you take some ground sausage. And some white gravy. Uh huh. Yeah. So what do you you, do uh, you, pour, you you pour it over the biscuit. Oh. Eat it with a fork. Oh. My mom makes these homemade rolls and they're pretty good. I don't yeah. butter them though because what do you think I am? Some kind of unhealthy uh food eater. Yeah. Oh. I know I am. I'm from the south. I kind of have to. Did I mention I'm from the south? You're from the south? Yeah. Oh, wow. Where are you from, buddy? Uh, Florida. No. I'm, no, that's I'm from true. Texas. <laughs> Just kidding. He thought I was from I'm Texas. From, I'm, from, I'm from Alabama. I'm from Arizona. Everybody knows this by now. Yeah, we've been talking about this for a long time. Yep. At least we're not in Kansas anymore. Yeah. See, this is cute because you reunited you reunited the seahorses and they're all loving and like there's hearts everywhere and then you get a heart piece from it. And it's really Yay. adorable. I like I to got think, a piece of their heart. I like to think that their love just materialized right in front of you and you just kind of picked it up and walked away. Me too. Well, they did have like. Well, actually, I'll go back really quick. There were hearts. Wow. Look, look at them. I was gonna say I like to think that like if you're low on health, you can just swoop by them and like pick up the hearts that are popping out. Yeah, but you can't. It uses the exact same sprite. Thing, though. Yeah, like that's what they are. Yep. Well, let's get the hell out of here. Seven eggs in hand. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. 
It's actually three because we already turned in the other four. Make me live reborn, or what? I don't remember how that song goes. That song was terrible. I know, but it was sung by like what Steve Kant or whatever. Uh, somebody like that. That guy's pretty terrible, but also kind of kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, there are a lot of people that are really terrible, but kind of. What was cool it called? Make. Time. How did it go? Make believe reborn. I don't know. That's a stupid thing to say. I think so too, but I think that's what it was. Or maybe it was like make me live. Ooh, you making me live. You know what? As what? usual, whenever we get, whenever we have these discussions, I'm gonna say the same thing that I always say. You're my best friend. Yeah. Yeah. That wasn't what I was gonna say, but it's very true. Well, that's that is what you're gonna say now. It's what I say you're gonna say. Yeah. I was actually gonna say someone in the thread will tell us. Oh. Oh my God! Windows Seven just faded out. Okay, I can see again. I was idle. Oh, Windows Seven. Remind me to move my mouse occasionally. Yeah. God. You scrub. move your mouse occasionally. I just did. Wow, because I reminded you. Thanks. Thanks. Buddy. You're welcome. Oh, hey, whenever we dumped those eggs, they weren't, like, spread out like that. We dumped them all right on top of each other. There's been yeah. some egg meddling. I bet the guy tried to climb in there and do some stuff with the eggs. Maybe they're, like, currants, and they were shifting. He had to fertilize the eggs, or else how else are they going to grow? But he's not a Zora. That old guy just fertilized those eggs. Ugh. Oh. Gonna be some like half Zora, half human children. What do you think he has a ladder down there for? That's a trick question. You don't need ladders and pools. Uh. Okay, whatever. Wow. Did, has anybody ever pointed out that baby Zora looked exactly like tadpoles? What? Yeah, it's crazy. Oh my god! Oh my god! You know, I think that this this scientist guy, he also looks like he'd be from Alabama. You think so? Yeah, like just like th that shot of him with like his buck teeth and his weird crooked expression. He looks like he'd be from Alabama. Like like as a stereotypical nice Alabamian person. I love this song, by the way. This is my favorite one, the New Wave Bossa Nova. Mine too. Good music. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I wish I, I wish the um, guitar actually sounded like that though. It sounds really funky in this version. Yeah. I mean, I can't hear yeah. it, but yeah. Yeah, I was. Yeah, I forgot that like when we do the recording, how we're doing it this time. Uh huh. Can't hear it. We sacrifice a bit of uh, viewer lag for sound we're taking we're taking audio damage to save time yeah <laughs> I like it mm -hmm. this is a mess I always know how mess on that guitar strum up strum up on that guitar I just did oh, where are we going buddy where are we going one of the Zora cave yeah I you know where we should go remember I'm gonna say one word to you and you're just gonna say yes or no okay you ready? Yeah. Beaver. You know? Yeah. Awesome. First we should do this. Oh. Well, okay. I guess we can cheer up with the new wave bossa nova. Let me say to remember it though. <laughs> I hope I hope she gets um I hope she gets all like funky. I hope it's kind of like uh, Ocarina of Time when you play that song for that, that one Goron. He's like, yeah! Just yeah, jams. that beat! It's hot! 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 I love that dancing. guy. I know. It's like he just played himself some music. Which actually, this is kind of close to salsa music. This is closer to salsa music than... Is it? Yeah. Yeah. Not really, it's just... Dun, 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 dun. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, that's all there is to it. Yeah, but it's the new wave bossa nova. Bossa nova is uh, it's it's it doesn't share the same roots as salsa music, but they they have similar sounds. What's your favorite new wave band? Uh, Devo. Yeah, <laughs> I like Devo. Does Oingo Boingo count? 
Uh, I think I think they're DOA, aren't they? Yeah. Or yeah. Talking heads are pretty good too. Yeah. New Wave is a pretty good genre of music. Yeah. Yeah. I like I like a lot of um new new wave as well. Really? Like uh like metric. They're still new yeah. wave. But they're also indie rock. See indie kinda took over the, the um the new wave kind of thing. But for the most part it was a good thing. Metric is pretty great. I know very little about them. Well they're pretty great. That's all That's you cool. know. I'll have to check it out. Bosses just climb onto his back, but we're not gonna. Yeah, we're not gonna. You know why? You know why, Turtle Man guy? Beavers, why? that's why. Heck. This time it all goes beavers. Yep. Mm hmm, mm hmm. What, what, uh, what's the name of the beaver you're gonna talk to? Uh. Je Justin, Justin Beaver. I was gonna make an angry beaver show. Oh, it's it's Sorry, you're yeah, it's Daggett. It's Daggett. Daggett. What was the other oh, one? I think, I think his name was Norbert. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That show that opened, show. guys. Show did all. Because Daggett was like, there's this one episode where Daggett was trying to get information out of Norbert, and he was so he like, just... and he was like, I'll, I'll wheedle it out of you, and he's like, you'll never succeed. And so then like the next like five minutes of animation is just Daggett going, wheedle, 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 wheedle like. In different clips throughout their everyday life, and like he's even sleeping, and like while he's sleeping, he just goes, weedle, 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 weedle. So his plan is to basically just be weedle, really weedle, fucking weedle. annoying. Yeah, just annoy the shit out of him until he's finally like, okay, fine, that's enough, and then tells it. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it works, you know. Yep. It's a very cunning plan. I liked that show, even though it was really dumb. It was one of it was one of Nickelodeon's last good shows, and they had Cat Dog. Yeah. And Cat Dog was bullshit. I hate Cat Dog. There were God, I hate there Cat were, Dog. There were even redeemable things about Cat Dog, but overall, man, that was just an awkward that was show. Over and there. I didn't like it over. I don't even know what's that. over there. Did you see that? Wait, what? Like, okay, look, there's a fucking, fucking, goddamn, Deku Leaf, and then there's a treasure chest and some. Mm -hmm. You better get over it. How about I don't? Why? Well, get there on your way back. I'd like to know what's over there. Tell you what, I'll do it after we go see the beavers. That's what I said, do it on your way back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Leave it to beaver. This beaver, specifically. This is the one. There's Daggett. I mean, It Justin. doesn't actually look like... <laughs> yep. Alright, let's go talk to him. What if we combine their names? Now he is jagged. Wow. That sounds dangerous. Or dirty. Ugh. Hey, jagged, buddy. Ugh. What's up? Got these beavers. Oh, this guy's fucking raving. I know, they scare the shit out of me. I love it. They're, his eyes are just amazing. <laughs> This guy is tripping so hard on ecstasy. <laughs> this dude is just gonna break out the fucking glow sticks. I'm pretty sure that's those aren't his teeth. That's like a, a, a pacifier in his mouth. I never really understood the pacifiers. Um, that's so they don't like chew off their own tongue. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Is that true? I, that's that's as I understand it. Yes, that's true. Wow, that's that's some fogged up shit. And do you actually have to beat him, or do you just follow him and just follow? Him. Okay, I couldn't couldn't remember. Doing a pretty decent job, I think. Not doing so bad, kid. Thanks. Don't let him lose you though, because he's gonna try. In all these trees. He can't lose me. In all these trees, he's gonna try to lose you. Well, he's not gonna be able to do it. I'm the best there ever was. Don't you think? Yep. Like that one song, The Devil Went Down to Georgia. Yeah. And the Devil is, Went Down to Waterfall Rapids. This is where, this is where you play like a ridiculous uh, ring swimming solo. Oh, and just put, put, the, put the devil beaver to shame. He's just like, well shit, I'm out of here. 
He leaves his uh. Dam that's what the devil said. That's he all. He leaves you his dam of gold. Oh my God, that would be awesome. Wow, the moon sure is big. So you know, I went I went many years of my life without realizing that on that same album there or wait no it wasn't on the same but it was um it was years later he uh they they made Devil Return to Georgia or Devil Came Back to Georgia. Really? It's a sequel song and it's the same tune, but it's uh a new story of how he came back to challenge him again. So and does it win? The thing is they don't they don't tell you how the second one ends. Because the, the devil, he spent all his time practicing and, and becoming better and wanting to, to beat, uh, what's his name? I can't remember his name right now. Johnny? Johnny. Yeah, he wanted to beat Johnny. And, uh, um, jo Johnny had since grown up and, uh, lived a life. And, like, he, he, uh, he's old now and he's out of practice because he has a family. And, uh, he challenges him and he's like, I'm still the best it ever was. And, wait, you didn't win? Or you have to get more rings now. Gotta do it again. Oh, okay. But yeah, so, so he challenges Johnny, and the way the song ends is both of them going at it, and it just ends. There, there's no no more words to it. Like, they have this... That's fortunate. I, no, I really like it, because they both start playing, and it's kind of up to your interpretation who wins. Because huh. it's it's like, you kind of wonder, did did Johnny, was his arrogance his downfall? Is... is did he actually lose this time, or, or what? Is he still the best that ever I'll was? I'll tell you once, you son of a bitch. He's the best that ever was. Yeah. Wow. But yeah, it's, it's actually a really bitching song. It took me years to realize that that was actually... I love when people actually get genuinely mad about, you know, open-ended things. Like, I know. Not, like I don't want to spoil. Well, we're not going to talk about Inception, but yeah, because I haven't I actually haven't seen it yet, so I've already kind of had some stuff spoiled, but I don't really know the context. Well, it's a Christopher Nolan movie. You know it's going to mess with your head. Right. But it's like, like as I understand it, and as I expected from a Christopher Nolan film, the, the ending's kind of ambiguous, and the whole movie's yeah. kind of ambiguous, and that's kind of the point. You really... You don't totally know what's going, I, going on. I had a friend on Facebook, and I showed it it's to really you. Cool. I showed it to you. I have an acquaintance on Facebook who was like, um writing like big like argumentative uh wall posts about or actually they're just status updates just to nobody in general about how like people have these like these multiple theories about how inception ended well if you look at me and you look at the something about a top like i said i haven't seen the movie i don't know something about a top and the way he spun it at a 60 degree angle and in a circular pattern i mean God, if, you're, that guy. if you're looking at physics there's only one real ending to the movie if you ask me well, yeah, part of the movie is that, like, everybody has a thing that they use to know that they're in a reality or in a dream, and one of the characters has a top, so that's really all there's to it. Yeah, I figured, but, um, I figured there's some context to that, but, um, yeah, yeah this, uh, he just, he was, like, taking the shit so seriously, he was, and he was, like, having, like, these arguments to nobody in particular, he's just, like, writing wall posts. Well, that's because if it's who I think it is, and I'm... It, it is, I'm, it, it told you, it's... It's the guy who literally co I coined the term for the Wade, like yep, he, that guy's weird. his name is Wade, and he's the, he I I created a term called the Wade, and this term is um if you're the guy in a group who is the guy that nobody likes, and um you you kind of hang around with the group, and, and like they make fun of you, but like you you're like oh good one guys haha, and you kind of roll with the punches, but really just nobody likes you. You're you're the Wade of the group. And that's yep. this guy. He was the Wade in, in like, all of elementary school and uh, high school. Okay. Good video, by the way. Yep, good video. See you guys next time.